Hi guys, it's Maria George here, back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see, that as you can see by the thumbnail and title, I'm doing another Aberdeen, pretty much transfer update, but not really a transfer update. I'm going to be telling you five reasons why Slobodan Rubisic is a very, very, very important signing for the Dons and can really help us in Europe and in the league this season. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. Starting with the first reason, and I'm going for his height. Now, he stands currently stands at six foot four inches. Now, that is absolutely massive. And if you compare him to Reese Williams, them two at the back would be absolutely mental. Absolutely mental. Um, so, yeah, his height is very, very key. Um, again, as a centre back, uh, put into examples of Lissandra Martinez on Manchester United. Look at his height. Again, he's doing quite well, but he is very, very good. His height, his height, six foot four. Him and Reese Williams at the back would be deadly, especially aerial battles, which I'll talk about in a minute. Um, so yeah, his height is very key. Obviously, a centre back, you need quite tall height. Um, so yeah, his height is very. I don't. I. I, I people say I'm talking rubbish on his height. Obviously, it's important. It doesn't make sense, oh, mate. I think his height is crucial. Again, as a centre back, he's gonna do very well. Him and Reese Williams again is gonna be deadly. So the first reason on why Rubisic is important is because of his six foot four inches height. Second reason, and now and now it is his experience. Now he's played thirty. He's had thirty seven appearances for um for Novi Pazar in the Serbian Superliga, um, Serbia Superliga, um, and again, he's pretty much played every single 90 minutes, um, so he's very experienced, I heard that they just missed out, or like a year ago, they just missed out on Conference League Football, which is very, very disappointing to see, because if he was in Europe, you, you wouldn't know what, what it was feeling like, and we would have gave, given us more experience, um, but again, 37 appearances in a season, and um, they finished fifth as well. Si I mean, sixth, uh, which is actually quite decent. Um, <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that. So, yeah, his experience can really help the team, especially the youngsters. Um, and again, he's not very, he ain't that much, ain't that much older as well. He's only 23 years old. Um, so, yeah, his experience is very key to the team and will definitely help the youngsters in Europe this season and in the league sees and in the league. Um so yeah his experience is very key. Again, um tall defender, uh lots of experience. That's what we'll need this season. So the second reason is his experience. Third reason now and I've gone for his aerial possessions. Now I've seen highlights of this guy he is an absolute freak from corners and free kicks. If you would put the ball into the box, Leighton Clarkson, I'm talking to you this season. If you put the ball into the box, this guy's going to get you headed right into the bottom corner. He has. I've seen every single, I've seen as much highlights as I can of this guy. Every single clip if, is him scoring an aerial duel. So if he can easily body Connor Golson in that centre back role, he can body Starfelt. He can body who else is there. He can body James Tavernier in the box. He can body um, Kyogo in the box. He can body anyone. You would get past him and he would up, you would get a header onto it right into the bottom corner. His aerial duel battles is absolutely insane and will definitely help us this season. As in last season, we didn't do very well in set, uh, aerial set pieces. So he will be a very help in those corners and free kicks, letting Clarkson get your whip on it and get Reese Williams or Slobodan Bot Rubisic, your heads are on it. So he is key from aerial battles, and that is the third reason. Last two reasons now, and I'm kind of running out, um, really. 
Um, but I've gone for his age now. With that again, that's gonna be so weird. But he's in his prime. He's 23 years old. He ain't the oldest. Um, he can still learn from a few of the old players. Like I'm saying, shitty. I'm saying, uh, maybe Kelly Roosh. Maybe. Um, he's still a youngster. To be fair, he's still a youngster. He's still getting used to the terms. Um. Still getting used to what's going on. He's 23 again, ain't the oldest, so he can still learn from other players. And again, if you're young, young legs, brilliant. Um, tw again, 23 isn't the youngest, isn't the oldest. Bit in the middle stretch. Um, so yeah, his age is very key to the team. Um, getting into his obviously we've signed a three-year contract, so he'll be with us till about 2026, and we've got an extra an extra 12 months on his contract so he'll be there hopefully for another year till 2027 so hopefully that's quite good but if he does do well this season obviously he might get a move away but we'll never know 23 years old got a lot of years on him at the club so the fourth and second final reason is his 23 year old age and the last reason now and this is probably the most key and the most and the most important as a defender especially is his strength now i've seen again i've seen his highlights i've seen his highlights i've seen the, the pictures online i guess i haven't seen much highlights to be fair i've only seen a one nine minute video or whatever um his strength is key again for a six foot four defender you guarantee to be strong and he is dead he takes all the boxes for that he is strong if someone's running down the what someone's running down the wing he was putting a massive brexit slide tackle he thought he don't, he don't care about giving getting a yellow card honestly he could put in a shoulder budge he would still get the ball he is a very very strong defender and for six foot four he's very very decent and i rate him Cobra double o, is this a good signing or am i talking absolute rubbish for me i think this is one of the most important signings of the summer we need a center back as we saw in those Preston and Charlton games, we needed a key centre back. Even though we've got Angus Mc, Angus McDonalds and we've got Reese Williamson, um, so yeah, we've got both of them. We need squad depth. He's a very good player. I think he will start against Livingston on the weekend. Thought, fifth and final reason is his key strength at the back. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, hit those notifications, we'll stop in every single time I upload a video. I've got another video coming out tonight, tomorrow night. I mean, and a video the next night on friday massive video so yeah am i talking rubbish or am i talking absolute facts comment down below but without further ado let's get what my oh. my mind's gone honestly my mind's gone and thank you for watching everyone uh please like and subscribe and i'll see you guys for the next video on this channel